Hello everyone, this is Lensman Oz, and welcome to episode 8 of my Let's Play series of the Pickle Pack Magical 2. Now, first off, I want to start out by thanking all of you who have liked and commented and subscribed on my videos so far. I have to say I really appreciate any feedback. Um, please, feel free anyone to, to comment on the videos and tell me where I may have derped up or whether I'm going too too fast through through something or skipping over a bit that you want to know more of um, I'm happy to go back and explain anything again or if uh, yeah you think I should try something different I'll give it a go now I've done a little bit of mining in between episodes and I've started building the, the Thorncraft tower a bit more up here uh, you can see I've heavily into the, the carpenters blocks and wedges here um, you may also notice the trees around and the fact that I can see nodes just walking around um, I'm added the the thormic goggles the uh, whatever they're called again uh, I added them to my helmet so that I can see them without having to walk around with a thermometer in my hand um, just made it a bit easier now these, these trees, I went for a bit of an adventure. Um, over here we've got a magical forest biome, which is really good. So I ma managed to find a couple of great woods and a, a couple of uh, silverwood trees over here and brought some saplings back. And all the way out over here, uh, there's a, there was a, a desert dungeon. I forget exactly where it was, but it's out, out here somewhere and I found a few items out there and managed to pick up some of the the you know the the plants that give you the the flame uh, gives you blaze powder so found some of them and also in here there's a thorncraft altar and uh, there's some stuff there that I wouldn't mind going back and collecting at another time but um, I think I grabbed one or two things out of that all right now back back here you can see I've started mucking around a bit with the look. Tell me what you think so far. Uh, I plan on going up probably about this high and then I might step it in a little bit and then go up again to give a bit of a, I don't know, a tower sort of look. Uh, started getting some ideas here for working away. Oop. Working in how the door is going to work in, in in relation to the tower because obviously the the path here comes up on a on the side it would have been better if it came up through the middle but I thought I'd adapt my plan a little to see how we go right I've got a few quests we can look at um, in 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 the process of making these blocks here which are just thorncraft arcane stone uh, might be better using the book. They're just your standard. Um, whoops. They're your standard stone from Thorncraft, which is just stone surrounding uh, wherever it is. I never know where anything is in this book. Uh, here, arcane stone, just stone around a, a shard. And then I've used chisel. Chisel gives you a few options with it. Um, I love chisel. It's great. So you've got all these different different block types here, which I'll probably end up using a few in this tower. Some of these glowing ones, and they, they look pretty cool. But yeah, these these are just your your standard bricks, and with the carpenter slopes, which I've double sided double sided these ones around here to give a flat edge instead of having a, a lumpy edge. Minecraft's a blocky game, yes, but it's it's always nice to have the the angle, the bevel angle here, and um, yeah, that that in between episodes I'll build this up. Now, one of our quests today. Let's hand that one in, and we'll get common treasure and some more arcane stone blocks. Let's see here. Inventory's full of junk. I uh, brought up some of the, the drawers so that I can dump out 
some of these shards should just be able to double click on them somewhere and it should give me what I need but obviously not at the moment let's see what's in these bags some coins a potion oh another ender pearl that's good yeah nothing too too amazing a couple of potions and stuff right and gold coins plenty of gold coins I haven't seen a pack yet so I haven't had any real use for them so the task we're on to sorry for flicking about a bit there today uh, one will be to make an alchemical furnace and that'll allow us to uh, get on underway into our infusion crafting now an alchemical furnace is made with seven stone blocks, arcane stone blocks, a furnace, and a crucible. So I have some iron on me. We'll turn this into a crucible. It's a wand. All right. Now, is it crucible, furnace? And some stone blocks and a wand. There we go. Our chemical furnace. And what do we get? Rubber wood, flint, and coal. So it's it's giving me some stuff to be able to probably cook down to get some aspects out. Right. Next one will be Olympic Arcanus. So we need to make a V filter. So let's have a look. V filters, I believe, are just is it two gold and a bit of silver wood. Yes. And again, the wand that gives us two V filters. You can see it used five of each aspect here. I am. Um, I'm not sure whether I showed you. I made the the gold band and great wood wand here. Um, fairly simple, just two bits of great wood, and that gives you the the, sh the start of the, the stick for the middle, basically, and then two lots of gold nuggets in the the helmet shape to give you the ends, and that gives you a, a capacity of 50, which is great. And these silverwood trees that I've got around, um, some have nodes. There's there's one there, that's the one that was spawned naturally. Now you'll notice this one down here is just a block left. Um, I've since changed the heat source on the crucible to be uh, nitor because when that tree grew and the lava here it caught on fire so <laughs> I had to run around putting it out for a little bit there just to make sure that the rest of my walls didn't catch on fire so I ended up chopping that back down to a block so I still had the node uh, and I planted another one next to it uh, you can also see that the biomes changed. The top left corner it says magical forest. Um, planting these silverwood trees converts the biome into a, a magical forest biome, which I just figured fit in really well with having the, the tower here. Now you can see there's another one down here with two nodes in it. And I planted a great wood tree around here. I also added uh, a couple of great wood saplings into the the farm down there so that I can collect up lots of this wood for when I need to make thormium because I was quite sillily using shards for the magical aspect to make the thormium when I should be using the magical woods they have you know one they're renewable and two they've you know they've got one of each you throw four logs in and a bit of iron and you get a piece of thormium which will help when I need to make machines so where were we? We've got the furnace here. I'm not sure where to put this yet. Thinking it it may go against this wall, but I don't know. I kind of want to put it here. But these, I'll have to move these items out of the way. Let's just drop it there for now. Move this crafting table just for the moment. Move that later. Right. 
we need to make V filters and now an arcane alembic. Now that uses the V filter. Bucket, upside down, hopper of iron, gold, and a V filter. So I need a bucket. I'll make another one because that's, that's my bucket I use. I think that was there, wasn't it? Gold and V filter. Should probably make two. I know I'm going to need them. I think you can stack up to four high. And while you're crafting one, you may as well craft two. And these sit on top of here. Like so. And we get four uncommon treasures. Now make sure before you craft any of this that you've you've unlocked the research in your book. Otherwise, as you saw from one of my previous episodes, it just doesn't work. Um, I have unlocked the Essentia Tubes. And I have unlocked... I think Water Jars comes when you unlock this one. But I haven't unlocked the Void Jar yet. Um, so next quest... I was just looking at the pictures and seeing what I might need ahead of time. And it looks like next one will be Essentia Tubes. So let's... Let's see what we get in these bags. Another ring of protection, small coins and a V-stone. Another ring of protection. I wonder if we can join all these together, that'd be nice. Pretty much got the same reward there. Potion of healing and some coins. And some coins. Oh well. Oh no, look, I've got some more ender pearls too. Ended up with four ender pearls. That's great. I do want to. Um, I don't like mining. I, I really want to get into having a, a quarry running, and the ender quarry is. It's got to be the way to go. Uh, it definitely helps with with lag on games. It doesn't, you know, doesn't leave big gaping holes if you unless you put the upgrade in it, and just replaces everything with dirt. So I will get into that once I get enough ender pearls going. And I think it requires a lot of resources, but that that is an end goal. Let's see here. Some Essentia Tubes. Eight Essentia Tubes. What do we need for that? It's been so long, I'm, I'm not a big Thorncraft person. So this is all fairly, not new, but different to what I normally play. I normally, normally play tech mods. Um, throw in a little Britannia, but um, tech mainly. Um, also, in, in between, sorry to sidetrack here, I did make a second Steam Dynamo uh, because the, the farms were starting to really chew power, and I have made a, a sludge boiler to deal with the sludge. So I do have quests to hand in for that as well, but I figure we would just deal with this uh, this quest for the, the Thorncraft stuff to start with. Alright. I think I had everything else or I can make everything else. Alright, so what was it again? It was two iron, glass, quicksilver drop and a gold nugget. So I'll just make some gold nuggets. I've got the quicksilver drops. Uh, that's made by smelting cinnabar, which gives you quicksilver, and then um, placing the quicksilver in your inventory to give you nine quicksilver drops. And glass. So that, oh, and wand. Gives us eight essential tubes. Inventory is really full. <laughs> Don't think. Yeah, I've still got the ring of magnetization on and the ring of protection. Um, this just draws power from your wand, so I, it's definitely come in handy. Let's see here. Bring another filtered tube and another uncommon treasure. 
Let's see what we get. Oh, another ender pearl. That's great. Golden helmet. Knowledge fragment. Doing really well with these ender pearls now. Let's dump these off. Okay. Water jars. I think we need clay for water jars. I don't believe I've got any up here. Oh no, it's slabs. Glass planes and slabs. Do I have any slabs? Can I make slabs? I think I make some slabs from this jungle wood. Jungle wood. And we need some glass panes. Pond. It's two jars. <laughs> in here for now. That gives us two jars so we'll be able to uh, perhaps put one either side here and we can probably pipe into these. I Now you can't have, I think you use a wand like that, yep. That was just a right click to take the pipe away so anything that burns in here will, any essence in the top one will go to this one, and in the bottom will go to this, that one there. So, I needed three. <laughs> I'll have to make another one. I'll probably, I'll probably have to pick those two up as well. Jumping ahead of myself. Read the quests, Lensman. Read the quests. Right. Yep, I'll pick these other two up. And that should complete that one. Yep. Awesome. Put them back down now. And I might just put one there. And I'll dump that stuff again. Right. I'm gonna claim that one. Another jar. And a common treasure. Potion of night vision and gold coins. All these bee stones. Snacks, Golomancer's bell. What I might do is I've been I've been meaning to make. I'm not a big fan. I don't. Let's see here. Let's just put this Thorncraft stuff away for the moment. I want to... I'm tired of walking around slowly. Let's see here. I, don't know what... I need to make a tectonic girdle for a quest reward. But normally I make myself the Sojourner Sash. Which is Rune of Air, Rune of Earth, Core Leather, Man of Steel. And the Sojourner Sash allows you to walk faster. It also allows you to step up one block high ledges without having to jump. And with the hills around here, that will be quite useful. So it's about to go night time. There we go. I believe I have what is required to make this sash down here in all my junk. So, Rune of Earth. Three mana steel, one stone, one block of coal, and a mushroom. Mana steel, stone, coal, mushroom. And I will need my wand of the forest. Get some stuff out of the way. Right. And this is a runic altar recipe. So, the way this works is we put the items on, right-clicking them onto the onto the altar, and then you get your one of the forest and right-click. Um, I will take off my ring for this. So 
I need to throw Living Rock on the top. And while you're holding your, your wand here, you can see there's a, a tooltip that shows you how far through the process is. It's about halfway now. And once it gets to full, you'll see these little particle effects getting bigger and bigger and it'll be like you know, electricity coming off. We're draining our mana out fairly well here. You can see that little mana star is now glowing red because we're losing um, more mana than what is coming in. Alright, so now we throw that on top of there and right click again with your one of the forest. And then we have Runes of Earth. So, Rune of Earth. That there. And I've got some leather in here. So I was just going to set it up like so. And then I'll put the other ones away. Uh, what was the other rune? So that was Earth. And then we have Rune of Air. Carpet, feather, string. Okay. Feather. Carpet. String. One, two, three. There we go. And this will make the rune of air. Take a, a second to get through. Don't know if I've got any wood I can throw these guys. I think they'll chew on that. Yep. That'll get a little bit of extra mana. Not much. Not much at all. Got some coal I could have thrown them. How far are we? Almost there. There we go. Throw that on top. Right click. We're in there. Awesome. Into here. Rune of Air, Sojourner Sash. So, the Sojourner Sash can go into the bobbles, baubles menu here. Put my ring back on. Oh, that's better. Much faster. And then, yeah, you can step up. Get around much easier now. Good stuff. It's normally one of the first things I make in Britannia. I've been trying to keep progression of the, the book, um, the, the quest book going, but I had to make one. I'm, I'm tired of walking slowly. Right. Now, what else I have is... Just run up here. I want to empty my inventory. Dump some stuff off. Sorry about this. Now you can see I added the carpenter's blocks into one of these, so when I'm done building, I can just come down and double right click on the manager there. Okay, so quickly in here, I now have all the required parts to make these tools. What was it? I think I've got enough. Perhaps not. Make the sword first. Here's a shovel. Hmm. And an axe. I might be missing one. Oh, I think I've got to make a hoe. Let's see. Oh, quest book. That was in amateur. There. So I need to make the hoe. I need two more of the Accio Essence. So let's see. Four. Mm. All right. This one. more of that and I will go and grab 
I need two, don't I? Two of them. Two of them. I think I can use these. Yep, that's them. And I need another one of these. There we go. Alright. Hmm. I'll take that. So I've never never used these tools before. Not sure how good they are. They're pretty good durability. Plus eight attack damage on the sword. And I've got eight on my Alamite broadsword, so that's it's not too bad. Get some little bonuses. Two extra essence from for mining the ore. Might give them a go. I'll, I'll see how we go. I'll put them in here for now. Use them my next mining trip. Now, ah, oh look, 64 coal essence. That was a quest, wasn't it? This one here. Manual submit. And we get nine experience essence, 16 air essence. And the choice of either water or dye. Now I made water seeds, so I'm going to choose dye seeds. And I'll see. I'll just add this to the list. Throw them in there. And I'll put these in there for now. And they will start planting. So, one of four. Okay, so I've got to craft earth seeds here. Craft rubber seeds, fire, water, and dye. So I will work on getting some materials for that in between episodes and I might craft them up in the next one. Right, one of the other things I did was created, I said I was going to finish getting that stone for the, the blood runes. So I have created the eight blood runes now. So we can hand that quest in. Which gives us a rune of self-sacrifice, which just, when it's in the in the altar, just increases the amount of life essence you get per action with the sacrificial knife. So that's blood magic complete from the basic. Um, the thorncraft is complete. These little ones here. We still need to find some cobalt in the Nether. Still need to ooh, kill one more zombie pigman. Shouldn't be too hard. And I need to find blazers. I haven't, I haven't had much of a look around the the Nether, but I haven't seen a, a stronghold yet. We still have to go to the Twilight Forest. So, got four quests in here to hand in. Just drop that in there. Right. So you may have noticed inside the house when I first started the video, I have made the pulverizer and the redstone furnace. Um, any of you who are new to modded Minecraft, pulverizer, two copper gears, redstone reception coil, two flint piston, and I use basic machine frame. These are just basic machines. For a refresher, redstone, reception coil, gold, two redstone. So that's the pulverizer, the redstone furnace. Similar down the bottom, but two lots of bricks and a redstone. And I put a hopper in a chest so I can, when I do my mining trip, come up from the mine here, throw all the ores into the chest. It's filtered down into the pulverizer, which at the moment has nether mithril ore. The only uh, out of the pulverizer into the redstone furnace, and then it's pushing out. You can see the orange there pushing out into this chest, but. It only seems to like pushing into this half of the chest because it's a double chest. So I've just been coming along and emptying this piece out. Right, might throw that. I'm not sure what I have to do with this grindstone. Maybe it goes through a pulverizer. Maybe it was just because it was full it couldn't push out. I'm not sure where the netherrack came from. Perhaps it was a byproduct. So we have iron, ferrous, 
15 silver lead and they're just going straight up into here uh, I'll throw that saw in there quick sleep sort of bounced over the bed then so the episode's starting to get around the wrapping up mark but I'll hand in these four quests so yep redstone furnace pulverizer and we get secondary reception coil and some invar and some tin copper ore and pulverized shiny pulverizer just go and drop the ores in here and this is great because it means I don't have to um, smelt everything through here and then wait and just gets it underway put them in there for now this um, this just allows the machine to speed up as you can see there it's twice the speed but it it um, adds, adds half again of energy used and it requires a hardened machine so I don't have a hardened machine yet what I should do is stop just dumping stuff and making soaring chests uh, and put it away in the right spot so the other thing I made was the uh, fertilizer and no it doesn't work on magical crops oh well so I just moved it across over to here I, d I don't use it all the time I turned off the the composter here and if I need something growing quickly I'll just throw some in here and let it go I don't believe it uses power when it's not really doing anything and I haven't put in it I haven't put a, uh, a range upgrade in it yet uh, this farm seems to be not working because the chest is now full a plan between episode to change this to a redstone furnace but what I need to do first is probably get a magma crucible and a fluid transposer so that I can use the fluctuating item duct uh, which transfers power as well as moving items um, and that requires it to go into a fluid transposer with a bit of redstone and that way I only just need to have one pipe coming out I don't need multiples should be good so claim that one and the other one I made was this liquid to blocks which is the sludge boiler uh, because as I said last episode when they get full of sludge they slow down so a basic system here put, a, put some tanks to try and alleviate the problem so I've just put a servo pumping out through temperate fluid ducts and I've got the power running down here as well and that runs down to the sludge boiler down here the fluid goes in the back and the power comes down and in the side uh, in underneath sorry and it is messy I know it's messy and any item what this does is it boils the sludge and turns it into uh, blocks different items sand etc so it's pushing it into the chest and then I've got another servo pumping it up through the wall here now the reason I did that is because when this is running um, it poisons an area around it uh, about a 3 by 3 I think it is but it's the reason I buried it down underground here and it's in the wall a bit so when it's running oh there we go it's running now see and I've got hunger and poison and I'm still in the area so let's move a little <laughs> so I put it down there so that when it is running I'm not going to get affected by it and the items get pulled out of the chest come up and come in here to this one so you can see you just get clay, red sand, soul sand and mycelium and just podzel that's a new one so it just converts the sludge into those blocks that you see in there all right so I think I might call that an episode um, oh sorry I hand that one in quickly and I will have a look in between to see whether there's anything else we can continue on with yeah, these these I'll continue with cobalt. Well, that's another fun trip into the Nether. 
But yeah. Alright, um, as I've said in the previous videos, please like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you're enjoying what I'm doing. And feel free to comment. Let me know what you think. And that way I can only grow my channel better. And do the things that you like seeing. Thanks again for watching. And I'll catch you next time.